Hi, I'm Vicki Havel, Office Chief for Construction Functional Support. Our group supports field staff. One of the ways we do this is by projecting resource needs. Forecasting workload enables us to project long-term personnel needs, balance staffing between offices, and provide resource needs to project managers. Some time ago, our workload support group developed the BAS, Best Assessment Schedule Software. The BAS pulls project information from various resources such as CAS and PRISM, and then this information was sent quarterly to field managers by way of spreadsheet for updating personnel need for every project on a monthly basis. That's a lot of data. Obtaining this amount of information in this manner proved to be cumbersome. So recently, the BAS was upgraded to the eBAS, an online resource data entry system. And this is our innovation that we are sharing with you today. Let me introduce Joel North, who is going to walk you through the basics of how the eBAS works. Thank you, Joel, and the entire workload support group for your innovative work. Welcome to the eBAS District 4 Construction Resource Management System. We begin by logging into the eBAS. And from here, we navigate to the home screen. On the home screen, we see a general description of the eBAS, followed by instructions and guidelines for using the eBAS. From the blue navigation menu on the left of the screen, we can view a roll-up of all project information, which is listed by Principal Engineer. We can view all project information, which enables us to view resourcing across all projects. We can search for and update and add new project information and resources. To note, incomplete data can be added, including entire projects, which is necessary for projects that are not captured in PRISM and CAS. Seniors and SOOPs have the ability to get in and review and update resources for their projects. Using the Add New Support from Project List feature, the electrical and maintenance offices can review ongoing and upcoming uh, project resource information. To note, reports can be pulled at any time but are typically pulled quarterly. In preparation for seniors to add resources, the D4 Workload Support Group will enter general project information. For example, we will enter information for Project 1Q799. We begin by entering general project information such as EFIS ID, the senior we will say is Ta Seng, and Office Chief Andrew Baskerville, and the award date, and other dates to the extent that we know them. And we observe that uh, resource information is not filled out here because it is a new project. We hit save. We see that the resource information that we entered is now listed on the eBAS screen. It is now the charge of Ta Singh to go and enter resource information. Ta now logs into the eBAS. He observes a workload by month report. As we can see, Ta's name appears under the senior column. Ta has approximately 50 projects he will need to make updates for. Among the projects Ta will update is the project we recently added, 1Q799. We click on the update link for this project. We click on update, and Ta reviews the project information listed here entered by the D4 Office of Workload Support. He now goes and enters resource information for the duration of the project from January of 21 through February of 22. When he is finished, he hits save and is brought to a screen where he can see the information he entered is indeed tabulated. Tom may also log back into the workload by month report to verify that the resources that he added for 1Q799 are truly there. He identifies the project and moves to the right to see if the resources are there and indeed they are from January 21 all the way through February of 2022. The BAS Workload by Month spreadsheet is available on the D4 Construction website which we have navigated to here. As we can see, it is available in both PDF and Excel formats. 
we will look at the June 2020 Bass Report. We see our report is titled Bass Workload by Month, June 2020. The body of the report contains resource needs by month for the duration of the report, which extends from June 2020 all the way through March of 2023. The far most right column, count of jobs, indicates the number of current and upcoming jobs. For instance, 284 jobs are indicated for principal engineer, Bill Borman. Bill, along with the other principal engineers, Bill Casey and Bonnie Naga, are shown in light colored yellow rows. Their office chiefs and seniors are shown underneath them. For instance, under Bill Borman, we see Andrew Baskerville, Maurice Hege, and Kumar Santil. Under Maurice, for example, we see Serge Baines, his seniors, George Chung, Nellis Pandya, and Maxime Dubilly. The far left columns of the report show current resource information. We have construction persons on board, loan to construction, on leave, or consultants. And for instance, for Bill Casey, we see we have 82 uh, persons on board along with eight consultants, making for a total of 90. We may wish to compare this to resource needs out in the future. For example, if we look at the months of January through March of 2021, we see the needs here are 69, 65, and 68, which are considerably less than the current 90 employees. On the other hand, if we look farther out and we look into the months of, say, um, July, August, uh, September, October 2022, we see that resource needs are anywhere from 126 to 128, which are considerably higher than the 90 employees currently on board. Moving down the report, we see that the resource information is tabulated in the row at the bottom, D4Con Field Workload Support Rollup. This includes a tabulation of all resource needs throughout the duration of the EBAS. We see below that, we also have tabulated fiscal year average and seasonal average. Similarly, services and support information are tabulated as well in the table section below. And they are subtotaled as we can see here too. To point out, the pink in the report refers to the winter months of November through March. We see all the resource information, which includes both field work, and services and support rolled up into D4Con all workload rolled up. A fiscal year average and seasonal average is included as well. On the following page, we have resource information shown by project. Looking to the right, we see resource information input by seniors for the duration of the EBAS from June 20 through March of 2023. In summary, the EBAS is an online program for entering workload resource information. Its purpose is to assist field managers and staff in identifying and planning for resource needs. Ultimately, resources are allocated to meet project resource needs we identify in the EBAS. Reviewing the steps in the EBAS. The D4 Workload Support Group enters new or updates existing project information. D4 seniors or their designated staff and renew or update existing resource info. D4 principals and SOUPs review and approve the resource info entered. The EBAS report is then generated. The D4 Workload Support Group enters the EBAS resource info in the PRISM in the September through October timeframe. Resources are now allocated to projects based on the needs identified and updated in the EBAS. Please contact the D4 Office of Workload Support if there are any questions. Thank you.